kids, welcome to Dixie Storytime World. I have a special story for you today, written by Terry Abatiello and illustrated by Sibra Sajid. Cody's Capers, Finding Joy. To get your copy of this awesome book, check the links in the description at the bottom of this video. For a long time, I felt alone. Even though I was with several animals, I didn't have a home. There were days when I didn't have enough to eat and nights when I felt scared. Most of the time, I just wanted someone to love me and make me feel special. One dreary winter day, I heard a lot of commotion. I saw big trucks and trailers and many strangers. Before I understood what was happening, my friends and I were loaded onto a trailer. It started to move and we became very afraid. The air rushed past our faces as the trailer took us on a long, cold, bumpy, incredibly fast ride. We huddled together to stay warm and to feel safe. When the trailer finally stopped, I was in awe. We were on a beautiful farm. I saw several horses running and playing. A nice lady came to greet us. She scratched our ears and patted our necks and told us we were good boys. She walked us over to a field of our own. We had enough room to roll and run. Boy, did we have fun. For several weeks, we filled our bellies. They took very good care of us. They trimmed our hooves. That tickled. A doctor came and checked our smiles. He listened to our hearts and our bellies. We were happy. But I secretly wished for something more to learn and do. One day, we met more people. They were called volunteers. I didn't know what that meant, but I was happy to meet them. They brought us yummy treats. They were all happy to meet us. But one seemed special to me. As she closed the gate, I walked up to her. I really liked her and wanted to stay with her. This feeling was so new to me. Hope filled my heart. As she started to walk, I walked with her. I leaned my shoulder against her and took every step with her. She was so happy. She laid her head on mine and told me she loved me. Could this really be happening? Did she really love me? Were my dreams coming true? She visited me often. She brushed and hugged me and brought me treats. One day, she hugged me tightly and she had tears in her eyes. I was very afraid that she was going to say goodbye. Instead, she told me she was my new mummy. She said she adopted me. She called me Cody. I had a name. A few days later, I took another trailer ride. I wasn't afraid because my mum was by my side. We went to another beautiful farm where two new friends were waiting to meet me. Everyone was so nice there and one lucky boy. My mum and I learned so many things there, from brushes to baths. I learned I have nothing to fear and I'm no longer afraid of big trucks or trailer rides. I know I have no reason to hide. But the most important thing I learned was that I could bring people joy. Not long after I moved there, we heard of a place where people were sad and lonely. I thought back to when I felt that way. I wanted to help, but what could we do? Well, we decided to visit them. Imagine everyone's surprise to see a horse inside. One day, Mum said it was time to meet new friends, so back to the big farm we went. Some of the horses looked strange to me. In fact, they weren't horses at all. They were donkeys and a mule too. We were curious about each other, but we kept our distance. 
I noticed the girls and the boys didn't play together. At first, trying to make friends with them didn't go very well. Trying to run with the girls scared them, and the boys didn't want to eat with me. I stayed by myself because I didn't realize they needed my help becoming better friends with each other. I ran and jumped and had a good time. Soon the others wanted to kick up their hooves like me. The girls started running and bucking. Then, to my surprise, the boys joined in. Afterwards, we all ate lunch, then took a nap in the sun. That day, we became a family. Now, kids, always remember that anything is possible. So just remember, when the days are long and start out dreary, the sun will shine. When others feel hopeless, your presence can make them feel fine. When the nights are long and you feel like you don't belong, take a deep breath and stay strong. If you're alone, you can still be happy and play. Others may join you, and you'll become friends at the end of the day. When you're afraid of new things, think of the good that change can bring. And lastly, always be yourself. Always stay sweet, and in time, your life will be complete.